Hey guys, so this is bringing you another video. Now this is episode 5, game 5 of the placement games. Uh, so I played 4 games yesterday, today is a new day. And I don't know, I was going to play more get more than 4 games yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling it. And that's one thing to say, if you're not in the mood to play, or if you're not just, you just don't want to, or you're tired or whatever, there's no point rushing your placements. Um, but I'm feeling fairly confident, um, basically as well. Leaving it as much as I have a day after in my uh, friends list. I understand you guys can't see now the hover box when you hover over a name. For some reason, it doesn't record it. Um, but a lot of my friends now are now rated. Um, so I have a lot of better idea um, of who gets what and, you know, that type of thing. And a lot of people are going five for five and getting plat one and all this type of thing. So <clears throat> instantly we have a master ye. Um... I can say, yeah, we had a Master Yi, I think, in, what was it, Game game 1, I believe, um, when I was playing Aurelia. Yeah, Game 1, we had a Master Yi, and he played really well. Um, I'm not a fan of Master Yi, so I don't really care. Uh, so I'll go top lane, top Perino. So this kind of means, although I'm not really a top main, yes, I'm very comfortable in top lane, it kind of means that everybody gets their role. You know, this guy gets jungle, this guy gets support, that guy gets uh, mid lane, and that guy gets AD carry. So everybody literally gets the role that they actually want. So that's pretty cool. Um, so Aurelia's banned, unfortunately. Um, I would have liked to play Aurelia. Uh, my backups are... Ooh, Victor. That's interesting. Um, my backups for top lane, though, are Nah. Uh, and Vladimir, actually. Um, although I don't know whether to go Vladimir versus a Rumble. Uh, I probably can. Hmm, let me think. I'm, I'm just doing... I'm going on the match histories of Vladimir's right now on this screen, my left one, just to see how Vlad's <coughs> fair <coughs> Excuse me, against um, Rumbles. And I think it might be just a, an even lane that they farm in. And both champions are just really good in team fights late game. So I'm actually thinking to go Vladimir right now. Um, it will probably mean that the Rumble is going to go Ignite, which can hurt me. Uh, it's going to be interesting as well to see what jungler they eventually go with, because that also can make a difference. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go Vlad. It's either Maokai or Vlad, really, or Lissandra. Because they banned Nar and they banned Aurelia, like my two mains. Um, yeah, I think... Hmm... Do, 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 do. Where's Vladimir? Oh, I could go Renekton, actually. Ooh, I might go Renekton. I'm just going to go Renekton and go tanky. What the hell? Why not? Tucker, Dial, Hunter, Crack Files. For those who get that reference, well done. Uh, so I love Renekton, always have, but I just haven't played him in a long time. I picked him up now because the meta's kind of shifted. But I was really sad when he went away because he is one of my favourite champions in the game. Um, I might go Bug. Yeah, Magic is per level. I don't really want per level. And there's Kha'Zix. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to go this page. Bit of crit can catch people off guard. Uh, so yeah, we're playing Renekton. This is game five, so this will be the halfway point. And basically, I'm thinking, I don't really want, like, I'm going to give it away a little bit. I just want to get two more wins in the next six games. <clears throat> and that will mean that I go, let's just say, even. Uh, so that is a bit of a spoiler, but many of you probably have already watched the past episodes or uh, skipped Champion Select by now. So, yeah. Right, so we've got a Master Yi that is opting for Exhaust. That's an interesting one. Okay, um... So yeah, welcome uh, to Champion Select. We're just loading in now. Uh, I am... Pro God, that name of Rumble. I am playing Renekton, top lane. Again, one of my favourite top laners in the game. Who recently did get a buff. Um, the way that I play Renekton is pretty simple. Uh, build a little bit of damage early, potentially. And then start uh, building tank. Uh, versus a Rumble. Uh, you can do one of two things. If you think you're going to be doing well, I would go for a Brutalizer. Uh, if you think that this is going to be a bit tricky, I'd go for a Hex Drinker. Or if you're very not confident and you get really behind, just go pure tank. Um, so yeah, we'll see. 
We'll see. So the and nobody yet in this match has completed their placements. Um, so that's one thing to know. Everybody it was diamond apart from the Master Yi. Even on the enemy team, everybody was diamond last season. So that's kind of the rating of this game. Uh, it is like a diamond game, practically. Um, so we have a Victor, who his stats are actually pretty good on Victor. So I, I like Victor as a champion. I just don't think he's viable at a very high level. Um, we've got a Zed. Obviously, everybody plays Zed. So I don't know how good this guy will be. And then we have a Kha'Zix. I love Kha'Zix. I, he's like my main jungler. If I were to jungle right now, I'd pick Kha'Zix over Lee Sin. Although, you know, you saw last game that I played really well as Lee Sin versus Kha'Zix. I just think if you're a strong Kha'Zix, you can even do more than a Lee. Um, but yeah, here we go. We're in the game. Whew. So this is my first game of the day. Um, I am planning to complete my promotion series today, if possible. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing two games at a time. That's how I do it. Uh, and what I do uh, right now is basically play two games and then render one of the episodes ready to upload to YouTube. And that will give me about a two hour break usually. And then I go in again. That's the plan anyway. Um, so I'll play all of them or as many of them as I can uh, the rest of the day. And yeah, and for those who are wondering, by the way, when I will be streaming again, um, I will be streaming again basically when I finish uh, the, these uh, placements practically. Uh, I don't want to stream while placements are on because that's the, like, you don't see many professionals stream with placements as it's risking of getting ghosted. And I really don't want to get any chance of losing these games uh, at all. So Renekton did get a buff. Renekton's uh, now healing heals is really high and he also generates fury from his W and his E. Like that's pretty big. Um, they are going for an invade the enemy team. I don't really know why. They don't really have anything that can lock people down. Like, they have a Leona, but unless Leona's going to flash Q, then it's not going to do a lot. Uh, so Rumble has opted for five uh, Cloth 5, which is fine. It shows that he's a bit tentative in the early game, which in theory should give me a free early game. Uh, but one thing with this matchup specifically, I have played this matchup when I've been playing Rumble and when I've been playing Renekton, is basically this lane is won by using teleport. Uh, in two ways. If you teleport down to bottom lane, or if you teleport uh, back to top lane on the power spike, and then you can just win a trade. You know, that is the teleport in this matchup is huge. And level six, arguably, um, if I do a good ult and kill him, uh, or if he does a good ult and kills me, uh, basically, as a Renekton, I've got to save my E uh, until he uses ultimate because just get out of the ultimate as quickly as possible uh, is the plan because you don't want to stand in Rumble up for a long time. So he's already half health. Uh, that's pretty good for me. Um, he did actually take the Flame Spitter first, which is odd. Um, whenever I play Rumble, I take the E first because especially when you're getting zoned out like versus a Renekton or something, they're not going to give you that many opportunities to farm and... Flame Spirit isn't the most reliable way of getting CS. Um, so my goal as Renekton right now is pretty simple. Try and make him burn through all of his health potions relatively quickly. Um, if I hit level 2 as well, I can potentially go for an all-in. But yeah, just keep him low health, really. And then I can win this match. Um, jungle pressure as well can alter this lane. No, there you go. He's already down to 2 health potions. And look, we're like two, 3 minutes in. So... Yeah, that's pretty good for me. Um, so this Master Yi didn't actually suicide to a camp. That's good. Um, saying that, I actually think that Master Yi, if you've watched game one, I think he actually meant to do that, which is odd. Um, I might kill him in a second. Got him. So don't stay long because the teleport cooldown is ridiculous. Oh, the death cooldown is quite low. So there's first blood. I'm double his CS and he's losing CS into tower. So that's a pretty good start for me. Uh, you know, I'm d I'm gonna go into the brutalizer um, because I'm feeling confident. Uh, but if a Renekton gets ahead, he's the thing why Renekton is so strong is because if a Renekton gets ahead, one he can do a lot of damage. And then simply he won't die. Like, he just doesn't die. 
because he just gets so tanky. So I'm going to buy a pink as well because I'm just going to pink the river. Uh, Kha'Zix is here. And don't die to a gank, my friend. I stay up that because that does a lot of damage. This is good. As I said, Renekton used to be one of my favourite top laners in the game. I'm taking a lot of damage from that. Oops. That's a mistake. <clears throat> This could be a potentially another kill if a uh, Master Yi came top right now. Okay, he's on his way. That's good. Yeah, look how look how deep Rumble's trying to go on a kill on me. That's fine with me. He's gonna go really greedy for it, and I think I can survive. Ready? Nice. I don't mind Master you getting it. He's a snowboardy champion anyway. Well, well. Oh, he's an all typer. He's an all typer. You spot them and you laugh at them. Um, I don't want to base yet because I don't actually have my brutalizer. I'm like one minion off, so I'll try and get that now. And plus, he doesn't have a teleport, so he can't really just come up to top lane and kill me. The only person that I'm a bit worried about is Wes Kazix because if he comes up to top lane at full health right now, he can kill me. But there's my level. Okay, you can't kill me anymore. I'm just. I've just hit level six. Cool. Kazix is in mid lane. Ooh. That barrier. He thought he had ignite. Uh, that was really bad by Victor. Like really bad. Using a barrier when you don't have when it's a barrier and not an ignite. That's a pretty rookie mistake. And he might get dove right now because he's Oom and Zed's level six. It's the problem. Uh, it's the problem why Rum, uh, sorry Victor in the meta right now is that he's so clunky. He just it, like against high mobility champions like Zed and stuff. Oh, he lived. Oh, move out of the way. He's gonna queue. Oh my god, that was probably like a second off cooldown. Uh, but he's so clunky. Like high mobility champions just own him. I don't know, does he still have flash? I think he does. I don't actually want to push this lane that much because I am I have pressure right now. He keeps spamming. Just make him lose CS. It's actually pushing in my favor, so this is actually really good for me. <clears throat> Stand in front of the CS. He still had flash. I didn't know if he still had it or not. Oh, balls. That timing. <laughs> it's always the way. It's like, oh, you just survive and then dunk. I, I, like, that was a bit of weird play by me, granted. But I, I wasn't sure if he did that. I still have flash or not. I couldn't remember. So go for the kill and just see what happens. And unfortunately, we got punished by the Kazix there. But... Oh, whatever. I still have my pink ward up, so I should probably place that soon. That's given uh, Rumble time to catch up in CS. Um, so we're, we're not even, like, I'm still ahead of him in gold, but it's given him a little bit more than he should right now. That, that was a mistake on my part, but again, you can't play perfectly. Never expect to play perfect. Uh, so he has teleport up. I have teleport up now and I love flash. So if something big happens, say bot lane, I think we'll both be teleporting down. The one good thing is I can stop his teleport. He can't stop mine. So that's one thing to note. This Kha'Zix though is pretty strong already. Um, again though, we have a Master Yi. Master Yi, I know he's, he's a beast late game. So as long as we get to late game, I think we'll be alright. Uh, even Victor, <coughs> even Victor, I think Victor's lane phase is pretty damn weak. But Victor's late game, he can still one-shot people and be really disruptive in team fights. So even he does really, really, really well. Right, that's pretty good. That's a nice trade. I'm gonna put the pink ward down now. Um, again, there's a perfect ward in bot lane. Um, it's it's a bit in, like sad that um, Master Yi doesn't have teleport because obviously that if you remember from game one, the Master Yi had teleport and he made a really good teleport plays every now and then. Uh, Victor's ignoring the blue buff, so just take it, Master Yi. Why just crit then? 
Um, it would be nice if I had crit onto this rumble. Don't think he needs to come top lane. Like, I, I'd... This is good for us. Where's our victor? We need you to... That was actually really bad. If Victor doesn't move, then we lose. Hmm. You can't follow him. Why? Or oh, you should have took... Uh, you should have took Exhaust as a Victor. He just kills me. He's because you're a Victor and you're really weak. Uh, there are some frustrating things. Um, trying to think what I want to do now. I'm actually going to go Hex Drinker, because I'm kind of thinking I might need to carry this game. Um, so, going a bit of damage is fine. Um, that was a pretty close trade top lane. Alright, so both me and Rumble's TPs again are relatively at the same time. I really don't want G to stay and die. That would be, like, that would make me really sad. Okay, cool. Whew. This game is, like, close. But again, if we get late game, I think we're, we're okay. Um, a lot of people might be going, yeah, but you're playing Renekton. Why are you talking about late game? Because Renekton actually does have a good late game as a tank. Um, he's nearly unstoppable to kill um, if you actually get a lot of items. And if you do a bit of damage, then, you know, that's great. Like, Renekton is, like, the only champion in the game that I'd probably build some fire on because you're in the middle of a team fight. So, you just kill everybody around you. They can stop that. Well, they should be able to. If they can't stop it, that would be pretty sad. But both me and Rumble aren't in this fight. So, if they just stop it and don't even try to do it, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> so Rumble actually is at a bit of a power spike right now. Um, I'm ahead of him obviously in CS now by about 10, which is good. Whether I can kill him or not is another thing. He's actually got XP on me because I... Did he? I don't think he died. Yeah, he didn't die. Like, I could have killed Rumble, but I I made a mistake in that fight down bot lane. Uh, probably some of you already pointed it out or saw it, seen it in that. Um... Alright. That was really close. Nope. Keep up the pressuring up is good. This Victor's gonna be really heavy to carry if he can't one follow for a gank. Okay, he got it, that's good. But if he can't follow it roaming and then also he dies to Victor, like this is going to be... Oh, he dies to Zed, sorry. This is going to be hard to kind of put him on your back. But it can be done. If bot lane... Oh god, they're losing 2v1. How do you lose a 2v1? Jesus Christ, that's not good. <clears throat> Severe is strong, but she's not stronger than Graves. They can stop it. Like, this guy really wants <clears throat> this dragon. If he goes, like, right now, he potentially can just try and steal it. Nope. He was too slow. Alright, he got the kill. Let's summon. So a lot of people might ask, like, when, why am I going on Rumble the times that I am? You'll notice I always go on him when he, his flame spit. Like, they're probably dead. When his flame split is already up. The reason for that... Uh, this game's gonna be so hard! Play safe, please. Yeah, this game's gonna be quite hard. But yeah, the reason I'm going on Rumble the times that I am is when his flame splitter goes up, he means it means he can't use it while I'm actually on him most of the time. 
Um, because if I go on him after, um, so go on him now. So like now, he can't do any damage or return damage to me. So it's like free damage. He can't out-trade me. Like, if he goes all in, I think I'll kill him. i put a ward there and then stay back here because it potentially could mean that he thinks he's safe and he walks through here walks into me. Which could go well. Um, maybe. So he's kind of seeing if I'm in this bush because he does expect me to go on him. This is an interesting match though. As long as we don't get really behind I think we're okay but this mid lane is going to be the struggle. He's dead again. It's free kill on Rumble right now. No way! Oh my god. Oh my god, this sucks. And I'm dead. Oh, oh my god! That sucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just kited me like a good and well played to them. One of them should have died though. I just couldn't get to him. Damn. And the sad thing is as well, like looking, I've got this thing over here. This guy's a Victor player and that guy doesn't even play Zed. That's the sad thing. That just shows how weak a champion Victor uh, Victor actually is, in, especially in lane phase. He just, it, it just doesn't do anything. Like his damage is really low because it, all of his stuff is scaling. It's like, mm, really? It's not good, buddy. Alright, we have dragon timed at least. That's something. I've got teleport up. Like, I've got a lot of pressure on the map. But I'm not converting it into getting fed. Like, yes, I'm ahead of Rumble by 20-odd CS. Good. But that's not going to win us the game, you know. Alright, he's got mid to hollow. That's good. Ugh. I'm, when I watch this back to, like edit this video I'll be like could I have done anything differently up here to get a kill there probably was something I might have missed an auto or I don't know we'll see it's always worth looking at them again three kills three kills two free kills hey our support not our support R.E.D. Go ye! He did. Right, he did. They got the kill, but ye did die. Hmm. Kazix is in mid. Rumble's still here. Oh, Rumble's actually pretty strong, surprisingly. Oops, I missed a CS. But these guys really say sorry a lot. They're quite polite, which is good. I like polite people. Right, I need to buy Merc Treads as well. Uh, oh wait, do I need to buy Merc Treads? Probably, like they've got a bit of... C eh, wait a minute, do I? Not yet. I'm going to just continue building out like Sunfire first. Sunfire is a good item on Renekton. Again, he's probably like one of the only champions I build it on because you're it, one gives you health, it gives you armor, great. But it also gives you the AoE damage and it doesn't sound like a lot, but Renekton is literally in the middle of a team fight always. So it's kind of worth on him more than anyone else. Because he just jumps in. Yeah, that's not good. I don't know why Jan is trying to defend a turret to Zed. 
Oh, they got him. That's something. This guy's just gonna kite me. Come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> no flash rumble. This is a joke. <laughs> I just can't kill him. Dragon's up. Right, I'm gonna base and then look to help on dragon if it's not done already. It's probably done. Oh, they haven't started. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that. Don't beat ye. Hey. Wow, that must he just gave dragon. That's so bad. Why was he basing over here? Okay, that was like really weird. I'm really confused right now. I don't get why you'd back here as a jungler when dragon's going on. Huh, that's a new one. So like the opposite of the maps basically has happened this game is like bottom lane, our bottom lane is lost and like they're always pushed up here. I've kind like I've kind of won top lane, like I've got a lot more pressure than this rumble. Well, yeah, I've won it, I would say. I have died three times, but Rumble's died twice without a kill. Um, but I've, I'm always pushing in, like, to top lane. So it's like there's a, an opposite effect going on. Uh, which does actually go in favour of us, because it means I can teleport down to bottom lane and help if needed. Um, where, where Rumble can, but it means that we'll have minion damage. On his tower, at least. Does he have Zonyas yet? No. Yeah. That could be a That's a dead victor. Good stun. Alright, they got like, nice. Nice. That's really good. That like, really good. I don't know where Rumble's gone. Okay, he's there. I don't, and I don't know where Kha'Zix is either. I presume Kha'Zix is bottom lane. No, you ain't getting away this time. Die. <laughs> that, that's a long time coming, that kill. <laughs> Meaning next Drake. God damn, this Kazix is so strong. Full one. This is why I rate Kazix so highly. Like, he can do a lot on the map. Oh, all right, hopefully. Well, I can teleport to top lane, but I don't want to teleport. Like, I want to use my teleport to, like, help my team. Because, like, yeah, Kha'Zix has got all kills on me. Like, I think Kha'Zix has got... No, Zed got one of them when I was, like, kited. And I think Kha'Zix has got three on me, I think. From memory. Go, go, go. Q. Oh, if he timed the Q correctly. No, don't. Don't. Jesus, like, Yi would have done that as well. Like, there would probably be an AD carrying support in this area somewhere. Um, I build, uh, so you might be like, why am I building, like, millions of armor items? Because I don't think Rumble is the threat. Um, I just don't. He's going to do damage, sure, but I should have enough health to just kind of survive him. The ones I need to survive and kill is the Zed and the Kha'Zix. Like, even, and Graves. You know, Graves is really farmed. Like, he's, they're even CS in bot lane, which is really good. But them two, like the Kha'Zix and the Zed, they're going to be killing people a lot. Um, there's going to be a fight in bot lane, I kind of think, soon. What's going on? Nice, they got one kill. Again, I can kill Rumble again and again and again if he's still here. But I don't know if he is. Oh yeah, he is, he is. That's good. I'll kill him now, hopefully. I don't need to teleport because I think the fight might be already over. I don't know if my team's winning it or losing it. Winning it. Not teleporting yet. Yeah, Rumble hasn't even gone. I'm surprised that Rumble didn't go. I'll be honest. Alright, I think he might be typing. Or AFK. Either or, that's good for me. That's a kill. Oh, 
Oh. That timing. It's all to do with timing. Alright, Rumble stopped typing now, I think. That's not bad. It, it, Leona got the kill. Yeah, Leona got the kill, and Master Yi got another kill. So, the more fed our Master Yi gets, the easier this game's going to be. So, I don't mind. I'm going to go back up to top lane. So, the next item I'm actually building, which is actually, like, really? Uh, yeah, Thornmail. Um, I just want armor. Just a lot of armor. And then health. So, like, I probably won't build any more magic resist items, but probably what I'll do is build a uh, Warmog later, maybe. Because their AD carry doesn't kill uh, health easy. It's a Graves. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Three top. Ugh. That sucks. This is why I need armor. This Zed is so strong right now. And I'm even going to buy that. I just need armor. Armor, armor, armor. And Victor just died. Ugh. <laughs> this game's frustrating. Alright, they got a kill. Good. They killed Graves. That's awesome. As long as we keep getting stuff of people dying, it's not terrible. But it is going to be... As long as we shut... Like, it's, it's not really the Kha'Zix anymore. It's literally the Zed. If, like, he can... In a 1v1, it would be close if he can kill me. Like, I don't think I can kill him, but I think I can survive him. That would be a really good kill. Oh, they got it. Yes, well done, ye. Nice. I got TP. Yeah, I think I can survive him in a 1v1, uh, but I'm not sure if I can kill him. When I get all my armor items to Thormail, I think I can kill him. We need this dragon. They got a good ward there, so I can just TP to it. I got some, uh, flash. Excuse me. A flash in 30. So, yeah, we should get this Dragon Master. You do it, like, instantly. Which is good for us. So, so far, I've kind of done my job as Renekton. It's like, yeah, I've died five times, and I've only been involved in four kills. So, technically, I have a negative KDA. But the amount of pressure that I have on the map of getting people to come up top lane is quite a lot. So, I, I'm okay with the amount of deaths that I have. As long as all my, all my deaths mean something and aren't for free... It's all good. They got mid tower that we can't stop. Oh. They're not going to keep going, are they? I've got to be careful of rotation top, because again, if I die now, that would be for free. Zed's in bot lane. I think I'm going to be the one that's going to have to go against him in bot lane. I'll go versus Zed. Because I'm the only one that can survive him. Cool. Don't go near him. <laughs> Please. Okay, what's up, Zed? You're against the big crocodilly, dilly dilly. Uh, so basically, this is just stopping his split push, more or less. I've still got both summoners too, which is good. Now, I've got to be careful of, like, everybody in bot lane, like Graves, Leona, etc., just randomly turning up. So, I'm going to throw that there. Zed's probably in this bush, I'd imagine. i still got to be careful, because he can potentially kill me. I'm not even, like... Oh, okay. They got that. Nice! So, I was TPing, because as soon as I saw Zed, I was like, uh-oh. But they, luckily for us, the enemy team didn't go on a full engage. If they did, then that might have been a bit of trouble. Ooh. I can just annoy him a little bit. Get him not to come. Here we go. Yeah, go that way. Means we get the tower. Potentially. Alright, the towers don't do a lot to me. That one will, <laughs> but this one doesn't. Um, we still got to be careful of dying here, I think, because their AoE, all in, is actually pretty good. Yeah, and that clear. Whatever. As long as we don't throw. I'm going to go back to top lane. Zed will probably go bot lane. This is where, as a uh, Renekton right now, I'm probably going to get a lot of farm. Because I'm going to go top lane, pick this up. Oh, did he just die for free? Yeah, he did. Uh, dying for free is like the worst. But yeah, I'm going to get top lane farm. And then if Zed goes bottom lane by himself, I'm the only person that can survive him. 
And meanwhile, Kazix is their split pusher, which is quite weird. But again, he can't deal with me either. Okay, as long as my team can wave clear, that's fine. Um, I could potentially TP to that ward and look for a fight. Eh, no. Okay, we've got Thorn Mail. She's dead. Oh, no, she's not. Oh, behold, yes! The Zed is starting to go on tilt, I think. Like, the more Zed goes in for ults and then is failing, he's more going to be like, oh, I shouldn't go in for that ult. And he'll be really hesitant. And you don't really want to be a hesitant Zed because he's all about getting a kill as soon as you can see one. Um, so I've got now quite a lot of items. I've got one slot, spare slot. Now, that can be different things. That could be a GA. That could be... Um, Randuin, you know, it can be all different types of things. Um, in this game, I, what am I thinking? Um, hmm, it's a hard one. Like, item builds are tricky. It's hard to balance them, especially when, like, they're fed people are ADs, but they also have a really heavy, high havage. Uh, high havage? High damage. Um, Oh, I did die. I thought I was safe. Z, 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 Z. We win him. We're winning. All right, kill him. Kill him. Uh oh, Kazix. All right, they got him. Did we win that? All right, no. So I thought we didn't have severe, but she just got murdered by Kazix. I think she stayed a bit too far away from the group, like he's doing right now. Like if you're alone, the Kazix is gonna kill you. I'm worried. I'm worried. <laughs> he's gonna die. Just back. It's not worth. Um, so what am I thinking? Am I going to go health into a... Warmog? Warmog's tempting because Warmog helps me in pretty much every situation here. But so does, like, more armor. Or ran... ran mm, Randuin, probably. I got TP. That was, like, a weird team fight, though. I went in that team fight with practically half health. Even less, potentially. And I still survived a long time. I could have survived that team fight if I used Flash. Uh, but I thought I was alive anyway, so I didn't really bother. Um, so let's clear this really quickly. We probably want to get to Dragon like right now, or my team at least does. Because whoever gets the Dragon first usually gets it. Normally. Um, because you have like the territory. You've got control of the map. So I don't want to teleport to Dragon because the whole thing with um, Dragon is like you do it as a team. And then go back to top lane. If I teleport to Dragon, then there could be a Zed or something split pushing. But I just, I want to teleport to get there. So we got that for free. That's really good. Um, if they come this way, they're not. Alright. We don't know where their two assassins are. And that's pretty much this game. Survive the assassins and I think we win. Uh, so there's Zed. I don't know what he's going to build. He's got a ruby, so he's probably going to build like a Spectra's Cowl or something. Maybe a Banshee's. Um, but yeah, this game's going pretty well. Um, so far. Like, our team fight- oh, oh. What? This guy trolling. Oh. What? Why? They're like, pretty- like, with this game is really even. I'm so confused. Maybe he's like raging. Like the mo the more times that people rage. Oh, look at that. Okay, well. What? Oh, he can't stand the rumble. He has like that rumble is spamming, but whatever. Like okay, I upload every single one of these type of journey. Um journey games and this shows this is a full diamond game everybody in this game was diamond last season this is a diamond level game and look you get trolls guys hey he elo hell is everywhere <sighs> just to kind of show you you know it, it exists everywhere it well it doesn't exist but if it did exist it would be the whole of solo queue that's kind of the point that i always make 
Kazix is doing racing to our base. Yeah, that is pretty much that build. So he's built all them zeals and stuff. He's either going to suicide the towers. Or he's going to just run to our base. I don't get it. I don't get it. They had a very good chance of winning. Um, what TP? But yeah, they had a very good chance of winning. Their team fight is really strong. They've got two assassins that can pretty much kill Severe anytime they want. They could have won this easily as hell, but you've got someone like this Kazix that just ruins the game for five people. Like, these wins, sure, it's a free placement win for me. Great. It doesn't feel good. I'd rather be like, yeah, I want all my placement games. Like, yeah, sure, most of them were stomps, but I won them all. This technically isn't winning. This is just being given the game. Because we could have lost this so easily. So, well, if he, come, if he does anything, can he come give me kills? Because I want my KDA to go up. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I don't get these type of people. Alright, I've got my last... Oh, I don't really know what I'm building. Now that the game is practically over, I might just go more damage. Um, What are you building? Oh, she's already got the locket. I was actually thinking about getting a locket. I'm just going to go Randuin. Screw it. Um, Randuin. And Yumu. So Yumu, a lot of people say, why Yumu? Why not Black Cleaver? Yumu gives me, as you kind of have seen throughout this whole game in top lane, uh, I get kited very easily versus a Rumble and a Kha'Zix and stuff. Um, and uh, what Yumu does is uh, it gives me attack speed, uh, movement, uh, movement speed, that's the one. And that's kind of what I need. That was a weird play. Run! That Vic Whoa, that Victor is going quick. I didn't realise it was that quick. Hello? Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm stronger than the Z now. <laughs> it took a while. But, yay. That was revenge for killing me. Twice. I think he... Did he kill me twice? I think he killed me twice. But yeah, all right, we've got them. They're pushing bot lane. Yeah, this sucks. But again, I'm I'm uploading this because I upload every game. Um, it's kind of just showing you like the adventure of like my placements, the adventure on the Smurf. That's kind of why I upload these games. Like this was a good game. Prior Kazakhs going rogue. Um, so yeah, it was close. Um, not much I can say about it to be honest. The gate. I'm gonna base and teleport back. They're throwing, just back off. Don't get it, Kazix was even playing well as well. Oh, well, just shows you anything can happen in solo queue. Any rating. Eh. Sorry. Kill yourself! <laughs> no, you took the kill. Damn it. Yeah, I'll report this guy. But I, I, the, the reason why I'm confused is like, why? I... Like, that's the, that's the thing. Why, troll? Like, they're saying he couldn't stand the rumble, but again, yeah, the mute feature exists. It's like, hmm. Kappa. Anyway, that's a free win. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah. Next game coming up soon. Uh, by what I'm thinking I'm doing, uploading every, like, one a day. So there you go. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, uh, goodbye.